So one of the questions I get asked a lot by buyers is whether they should make more than the minimum down payment when they're buying a home. Obviously, if you put more than the minimum down when you buy a home, you end up with a smaller mortgage, which means a smaller monthly mortgage payment, which means you're gonna pay less interest overall over the course of that mortgage. The downside, however, is it ties up more of your money, which is money that you don't have for other things. There's really no right or wrong answer, in my opinion, as to whether you should put more than the minimum down. It's a, it's a personal decision, but I'm gonna tell you how how I look at it. The way that I look at it is I take the current interest rate that I'm getting on my mortgage and I compare that to what I think I could reasonably earn as a return on that same money if I invested it elsewhere rather than putting it on my mortgage. I tend to be conservative with my return, so I usually use like a five to 6% return as kind of a conservative amount that I think I could reasonably get year in, year out on my fund. And so if the interest rate that I'm getting on that mortgage is in that five, 6% or more range, I think it starts to make sense to actually put more money towards the mortgage to keep the payment a little lower, give myself more flexibility. If however, we're looking at interest rates of you know two, three, four percent even, then I'm pretty confident that I can reasonably get a much better return on that money if instead of putting it on the mortgage, I invest it elsewhere. So I'm paying a little bit more, I'm paying three or 4% more interest, but I'm earning five or 6% on those same funds, which you know is a, is a net profit of one to 2% a year. On a large amount of money, that can make a difference. Again, there's no right or wrong answer. It's really a personal preference. Now I happen to have a couple of phenomenal financial advisors that I work with. They're part of my extended team. I'm always happy to put my clients in touch with them. So if you have questions about your personal situation, more than happy to make an intro send me a private message and don't forget to like and subscribe.